All right, so this right here, this is the, uh, this is the Burley stock, little big top, mm, I hope, anyway. And um, I should probably check that out. Like, actually, let's like, let's look that up. Let's Google it. A Burley stock, a Burley stock, little big top. Yep, this is the little big top. Okay, so this one retails for $289. And this has been a fantastic pack. This is not part of the pack, it is not included. I added this little uh, waste pouch uh, dealy. It's got a couple of mag holders on the side. I keep my administrative stuff in here. I keep my laser range finder and my uh, Kestrel in here as well too. And that works out really well. If I need to be faster at the Kestrel, I've got that right here too. If I want to, I take that on and off. And it's eventually gonna go onto my belt that I was talking about before. So contrary to my experience with the belt, my experience with this pack has been really, really positive. And I'll show you some, some video I shot with it uh, today. I actually carry a rifle in, this, in the side here, one of the sides, <clears throat> and I use these clips, these compression straps to actually uh, hold that rifle on. <coughs> and have some water out of my purple water bottle. So, reasons I like this pack. It's really super simple to get into and out of. And it expands a lot. You have a huge capacity. So, Hence the name. Little Big Top. So, I mean, you can really expand it uh, and compress it down to whatever you need it to be for, for load carrying and stuff. I have got everything in here, including multiple optics. I've got uh, multiple tool kits in here. I've got uh, my teaching stuff. I've got magazines. I've got, usually I have like my ammo novel uh, from, I think it's called Caldwell. Uh, really love that thing. I love the fact you can carry all the ammo around without having it jingling around in a box or something. And I just love the comfort that this thing offers when you're carrying it. Now, it's a little heavier than packs I was used to with alpine climbing and it's worth it for the weight. It's worth it for the fact that you've got such maximum breathability with this thing. It's ventilated through here. It's got this funky bristle type stuff, almost like this, the bristles that you would have on like the old plastic scrubbies kind of thing, except it's a little bit thinner wire. And that allows it to conform to your body but it also allows moisture to escape from it. So despite the fact that I went for a two and a half mile hike down here and I'm fat and out of shape, um, not quite as bad as I was earlier this year though. Uh, I, you know, I stay relatively dry. Now, this system is compatible as well with the M1 carrier. And that's the, the frame pack that I showed you guys last year. And this is the pack that I actually put on that. You've got a whole bunch of different options you can do with that. You can put a, you can pull the harness off of this thing. It comes off relatively easily. You can pull the, the waist belt off of it. And then uh, you've got the ability to then attach it to that frame as well as put a scabbard in between two. And then you've got something that you could actually probably, I mean, you could leave these on if you wanted to as well too, or just shove them in the pack. And now you have two different packs You've got your rifle carried, and then you've got all the gear you need if you're going to be skinning out and carrying out game and that kind of thing. You're use it, using it for hunting. Uh, so you've got maximum versa versatility there. And like you've got the ability to compress it for as small a load as possible or to expand it for huge loads as well. I mean, like a burly stock is shown in their videos in the past before. They can carry an enormous amount of weight before failing. I think they loaded one up to like 635 pounds or something in one video and uh, without the pack failing. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm not carrying 635 pounds ever. If I am, I'm probably dead. Uh, so 
yeah, I just fell in love with this pack. It just by like natural uh, selection ended up as my everyday go-to pack. And you know, the addition of this made it a lot easier as well too. Cause I, like I say, I can get to my administrative stuff, my teaching stuff um, that I'm frequently in and out of. Or for hunting, I've got easy access to my uh, Kestrel, my laser range finder. I've got a few little goodies in there for like some gel things. Uh, you know that you know for just keeping me going if I'm hiking or whatever one of the big things I love though is the fact that I can just do this I can open the back of the pack I've got access to everything I need whether it's my binoculars my beard brush I forgot that was in there I should have done this beforehand yep oh, that feels better you need if you have a beard you need one of these like bore bristle brushes They're they feel good I mean come on Got to keep your beard nice and tidy, right, for the ladies. And, <clears throat> oh yeah, there's the uh, Coltac. There it is, the Coltac ammo novel. Got that in there as well, too. I should probably throw my extra my extra uh, loose 224 rounds in there. I've got my uh, notebook, and this thing is awesome. Really helpful. I think I picked this up from a Canadian manufacturer. And I've got, like, data sheets and stuff for different loads. And yeah, um, you name it, I got it in here. You know, black diamond headlamp, um, like say multiple toolkits, weather vane setup, if I really have some difficult wind setup. And if you don't believe me, like the only time I've actually pulled this thing out was when we were shooting that 224 video that I did a few weeks ago. And that wind was just up and down, like constantly. We, we just could not call it. And it was gusting so quickly. Go to that video and watch it. It was actually really fun. I had Josh, my buddy, he was calling the wind and it was just like back and forth, back and forth all the time. So, I mean, this Kestrel weather vane system has its uses occasionally, especially if you're shooting on your own or if it's like really uh, sporadic conditions. I've got a uh, Condor waterproof stretchy jacket, gloves, North Face jacket, which costs three times as much as this Amazon one and which isn't as good as this Amazon one. This, by the way, is a $40 jacket off Amazon. Just look up men's puffy jacket. Uh, really good system. And then um, I've got my sand sock gear. Uh, these are my the two uh, bags that I'm using primarily. If I really go for maximum, maximum stability, I've got, I've got sandbags in here too. I've even got a long range video camera in here from Panasonic. I mean, there's a ton of crap in this bag. And then you can throw water bottles in the outside too as well. Uh, so this jacket or this pack works exceptionally well. Um, there's actually a lot more space in here because I've got the, the top dialed all the way back down to uh, be as tight as possible. Heck, I've got a balaclava, not baklava, it's balaclava. I mean, if you, that clava is like a really good dessert. If you've never had that, you should try that one as well. All right, guys. So it's going to be a lot of editing when I get home now. And again, if you don't mind, we would really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and ding that bell. And uh, leave us some comments below because it really helps the channel. And if you want to send money, send money because we want to do more videos. And uh, if you want to come out and join us on a course, we've got new offerings coming out. We're going to be doing a um, personal security kind of course that's going to be initially aimed at uh, for at women um, and making their lives a lot safer, as well as we're going to be offering a new introductory carbine course. And uh, this is going to be quite an interesting course. It was pretty uh, pretty funny to take out a buddy of mine and just watch his jaw drop as to what you could do with. Uh, with a little carbine. All right. Okay. That's it for now, guys. Good night.